Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shivaravindra. Today I am going to discuss trial domain in clinical cells programming. Okay, so what are the trial domains? Are they in the SDTM? So how we can remember all the trial domains at one uh, one glance as well as you know how to you know remember some variables related to how to map the trial related domains so each and every study the trial domains are the main and important source to reference okay so whenever the client is asking you to provide some overview about the study these trial domains are mainly useful as well as whenever you go for any submission the trial domains has to be uh, must and should compulsory you know we have to submit for the review as well as whenever you are creating other SGTM domains also so we have to cross check with the trial domains what are the information already map so that information exactly matching with our other domains as well otherwise the pinnacle 21 tool whenever it will cross comparing with the trial domain information with our domain so it will give an a warning so okay here today we are going to see one by one domain so important domains are first one is trial arm so how many arms are present in the study so we have to map that arms into the trial arm data set okay so this is not a subject level data sets so these are the study level data set so we will create the data set in a study wise okay so here you can see as per the implementation guide so these are the variables has to be included in the trial arm data set okay study id domain arm cd arm tau tord etcd element and branch etc variable what this shown here so we have to include in the data set okay so what is this variables first we need to know uh, if the subject or patient so he is performing in a parallel study parallel study in the sense throughout the study so the subject is taking only one type of drug for example three subjects are participating in the parallel study so first subject a treatment continuously you now throughout the study he is only allotted to that a treatment only and if the subject in you know, the second subject is allotted b so throughout the study the subject is taking only the b treatment only the third subject if it is you know C treatment was as it so continuously he has to take the C treatment okay so this is called parallel study in this case you can see so only either test or reference only as to the subject okay so test test drug or some other molecule or you know reference drug or some placebo drug any other second drug as end so one subject is taking only one type of treatment so here you can see the data set we have to frame in this way so first three records are related to the placebo and second three records are tq so because we have a screening stage and you know so treatment element and follow-up element okay so three stages the subject is taking you know uh, assigned to placebo and other three tq okay for few subject it is allotted to placebo for few subject it are to active drug okay so in case of crossover studies crossover studies are nothing but the subject is going to expose more than one drug for example here if you see the chart so after randomization the study subject was assigned in the period one a treatment he is going to take b treatment in the second period if the subject is alerted to the b treatment in the period one he is going to take the a treatment in the period two okay here for example one subject is there you can see first screening then he is taking the a drug either test drug then washout period so what is washout period nothing but the drug eliminate from the body so we need some time right so then only we can give the other drug so the elimination process time is called washout period so we will wait that washout period like 56 days or 28 days based upon the half-life of the drug so we decided this washout duration after that one we will give the another drug and if it is a two period study so two drug if it is a three period study then again wash out then again we will give the third period like that you know so the study crossover design was designed next follow in case 
the second subject like this for example the second subject was started screening and if he is taken b drug then wash out then he will take the a drug like this crossover studies for decide so in this cases you can see the data set we have to <coughs> create in this way sequence one what is the sequence one first test next reference tr nothing but test and reference sequence two is reference first test second that means nothing but a b a b a okay so in this way we need to enter the information in the excel sheet then pull and create the data set based upon the crossover study design the trial arm data set has to be designed okay so here arm and arm cd is the main variable so if it is a crossover studies so we have to create the sequence it is a parallel study so we have to enter the treatment name okay so that is a trial arm related information so coming to the trial element elements nothing but so here you can see that these are the variables as per the implementation guide we need to show what is the element element nothing but the duration during which a patient either received a treatment or non-treatment specify the name associated with the treatment so okay here a reference and test is there so those are the two treatment so nothing but they are the elements okay so remaining screening follow up wash out those are non-treatment okay those are also element but that are non-treatment right so here you can see screening you can see these two types right first subject b treatment next a so second subject a treatment and b so what is the study level elements so first one is screening second one is whether it is a test or reference so the subject might you know taking test or reference but in case here so the test or reference we need to enter next wash out next test or reference next follow -up. so these are the study level elements okay so we need to specify the drug names if they mention drugs so we can mention the placebo active otherwise you know test reference so these type of names we can call with the treatment names we can enter in the elements okay so these are the study level elements in case trial level overall trial level elements we can call it as epochs okay so here screening so this also comes under treatment okay so this is a washout and this also comes under treatment and here we can see the follow-up okay so the trial level elements we can call that variable epoch and study level element we can call trial elements okay so here you can see one of the study if it is a parallel study only three elements that is screening treatment and follow-up in case in case it is you know so crossover study you can see screening first test drug next reference element next washout end of the study or follow up so these type of elements you can see based upon the study design and protocol and design so we have to figure it out what are the study elements so that study elements you need to include in the trial element data set okay so here you can see some of the examples we can take from the implementation guide so element screening run in placebo drug a and drug b okay here are some elements so screening placebo p they given 5 mg 10 mg if the same dose we have to give some mgs why so that time also each and every mg we can consider as a element here and the trial visits trial visits are nothing but the how many unique visits are present in the study so we need to figure it out and enter that information and create the data set so these are the variables as per the implementation guide and here you can see at the trial design domain that contain the planned order and number of visits in the study within each arm okay individual of how many uh, visits the subject is taking the term for example two treatments are there so one treatment given each week another treatment only month wise so each and every treatment wise how many visits are there we need to enter and if other treatment have some specific visit that visits only we can assign to that particular treatment okay so here one of the tv data set here so each and every day so they have some visits are as and as per the protocol so in this way we need to create the trial visit data set and if it is have only 
treatment period 1, period 2 and withdrawal. It is a crossover study, only two period study. So that time you have to. So here some crossover studies, if you have only two periods, okay, that is two visits. First one screening, second one is treatment period 1, next treatment period 2, then either withdrawal or you know follow up. Okay, so that time you need to create the trial visit data set. How many unique visits are present in the data set we have to enter? Okay, so next trial inclusion and exclusion criteria. So, before uh, the subject recruit in the study, so we have some setup criteria to be include that subject into the study, right? So, those are called inclusion and exclusion criteria. So, that criteria variables they have mentioned in the implementation guide and here you can see in the protocol they clearly mentioned what are the inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria so you have to read that one and meaningful 200 letters you have to prepare sentence and that sentence you need to enter and create the data set inclusion here you can see the first must be healthy adult human being 18 to 45 years of age, both inclusive weight, something like that. They given 18.5 to 29.9 BMI. So here must be healthy order. Like that, you know, you have to create the test, and that is a category is inclusion, and the number we have give one by one. So each and every inclusion criteria we have to give one number, and exclusion criteria also we have to give numbering and create the data set. Okay. And the next trial summary so this is also important data set what is the summary of the study so we need to create the trial summary data set so there is some templates each and every study so this template this information like you know ts param cd and param we have a template so these values we need to enter as per our study design so what is the trial primary objective what is the trial secondary objective how many subjects are there what is the registration number when it was started what is the study started sex of participants investigation type etc so these templates are available in the implementation guide and you know cdisk portal you can download and your study related information you need to fill all ts var and val val and etc information you have to fill as per your study and create the trial summary data set okay trial summary data set if for example here ts val has more than 200 character information is available you have to create the another ts val 1 val 2 val 3 like that to 200 information you can split and create the variables in this way so each and every data set no need to write any programming simply create one excel sheet enter all the variables and by using the proc import procedure you can import that excel sheet and create the data set these are the trial related data set and these data sets are not useful for any analysis purpose this is not a subject level data set this study level information for overview understand of the client as submission team also cross checking with the data subject data with the study data level data okay so this is what uh, trial related important data set thanks for watching video so please subscribe my channel if you need more interesting videos thank you everybody